Hey everybody, Nailed or Failed Reviews. Today we're gonna to be talking about this little microphone for your cell phone. This is a Movo MA2010 3.5 millimeter mic with a headphone jack. This is something that you plug into your smartphone so that you can get some directional focus on a sound source as you're recording video with your smartphone. And so we're gonna check it out now on Nailed or Failed Reviews, go over some of the features of it, how good it works, and give you some sound samples so you can decide for yourself whether or not this thing will be good enough for what you need it to do. Let's check it out now on Nailed or Failed Reviews. Okay, so now let's get into why you might need something like this. Again, this is just a little boom mic that you plug into your smartphone, into the headphone jack, and uh, it, it basically is a directional style mic that also, um, this version has a uh, headphone input into it um, so that you can, it makes you think you can listen to uh, what you're hearing, uh, but you can't. So that's one thing that I'll get into in a minute. This goes with your cell phone, and um, if you still, if your cell phone still has a headphone jack, then you know you simply just do this. You plug it in, and uh, you can uh, maneuver it here, uh, up and down. So you can you can definitely turn it different ways, which is nice. Um, it is kind of weird that the headphone jack also faces forward so I'm not sure why it, why it does that because then if you do have it plugged in um, you know the cables coming out this way instead of just coming from the back and then going up to your ears up but you get these on Amazon uh, I think I paid 15 bucks for it so nothing really special again this is a Movo uh, M2010 and um, what it comes with is this thing it comes with this little bag uh, some type of little clip. I'm not sure uh, where it goes or how it works. Um, so I'm not sure where, what, what the deal is with that. It doesn't say anything in the manual about it. Little tiny manual. So um, pretty straightforward. Most smartphones now, uh, they're able to, when you're video recording, to um, uh, use an external mic. Uh, so this is a uh, Galaxy S9 and um, you can do the uh, quick tap on the uh, camera here to get it to turn on and then when you plug it in um, it'll say down here on the screen when you start recording uh, it'll actually say a uh, recording audio with external microphone so hopefully your phone does that um, again I can't say that uh, this is compatible with all phones but uh, it should work with most um, a couple things like I was saying earlier <clears throat> it has a headphone jack on it which would lead you to believe that uh, if you have this plugged into your phone, then you plug in the jack, right? And you set it up. And so now you're, you know, you got your rig, your quote unquote rig going and you can film people and, and get some audio. But you can see here what it does. Um, the cable itself, the weight will, will move it. So unfortunately, um, that does that. But the biggest thing is that it actually doesn't can't hear the sound when this is recording so um, it is really misleading to think that uh, this is an input for a micro or for a headphones so that you can hear what is being recorded when um, in reality you cannot the only time it does work is once you're done recording then you when you do playback then you can hear it while keeping this uh, mic plugged in so I guess that's the purpose for it um, although like I said I, I find it very misleading that they uh, include this jack and don't say anywhere uh, that you cannot hear it while actually recording. So that's one thing to know. Uh, the other thing is it doesn't come with a, um, a wind little sock, you know, the thing looks like a little rat. Uh, so if you have to find one elsewhere or if you have one from like a little lapel mic, uh, you might be able to fit it on there. But again, um, if you need something, cause you know, you're probably gonna be using this outside a lot of times. So you're probably gonna definitely wanna get a little windscreen to go on to here or make something out of you know some faux fur. There's lots of videos online about that. So what I'm gonna so do now is I'm just gonna take this uh, to our TV. I got the football game on and I'm gonna plug it in and out and just show you guys what the sound difference is. Again, this is gonna be coming from a cell phone. So um, you know, be aware of that. Uh, technically, you could plug this into something like what I'm wearing. Uh, for the Sony A6000, which is their receiver that does have a, a jack for an external mic like I'm wearing here. Um, so uh, I, I believe you could technically use it for that. Uh, but uh, yeah, let's go test this out right now. Give you some samples of what it sounds like. Okay, so I got the mic plugged in right now and 
it's facing me, so it's actually turned facing my face while the camera faces the football game. So this will give you a good idea that if you were recording something that uh, you could technically uh, flip this mic around to face you as you uh, create, you know, as you record your voice or whatever it is you're recording. And then if you need to uh, turn it back to a source in front of the camera lens, uh, then you could actually pivot it back. So I'm gonna do that now. And so now the mic is facing away from me. I think this gives a good idea to you guys that if you're out and about in an area uh, where there is going to be sound sort of bouncing around and different people, uh, that this might help you uh, listen to the, the audio quality. Now I'm going to take the mic out. So now the mic's out. The phone is just recording from its regular speaker. Uh, you can probably hear the, the game in the background there as well as me talking and sort of like somebody talking over another person. So. Um, you know, I'll plug the mic back in. So now it says it's recording with an external mic. This is again facing the game right now. So now I'm going to turn it back to me so you can hear me. So now it's facing me. It's basically pointing directly at my face. Uh, so uh, hopefully this gives you guys a good idea of uh, what this looks like or what this sounds like actually uh, when there's, you know, crowd noise and different noise like you were at outside or in an event. Okay, so hopefully that helped give you guys uh, some idea of what this thing will sound like if you are, you know, like I said, outside using it at an event or uh, indoors at an event. Um, it's, uh, it, I listened it back to it after I recorded it on, on this phone and, you know, the difference is definitely noticeable, um, you know, especially when I plugged it in and out and uh, you heard what it sounded like going from the uh, microphone on the phone itself uh, to the boom mic itself. Um, that there was definitely a difference and that it actually uh, picked up my voice pretty good even when it was turned this way. So again, um, you couldn't see it in the video because I was recording, uh, but basically what I was doing was facing uh, the camera like this. When I first started, I had uh, turned the microphone like this so it's facing right at me even though it was recording that way uh, as far as video. The audio is coming this way. You definitely could still hear the uh, background noise from the TV because this isn't a cardioid uh, mic, this is just an omnidirectional. So uh, I forgot to mention that earlier that uh, because this is omnidirectional, it's gonna be picking up pretty much everything. Um, so as again, in the video when I, turn, when I was saying how I turned it towards the TV like this uh, and I was speaking, you could still actually hear me pretty well. So um, that gives a good indication that this is an omnidirectional mic and that if you are somewhere where there uh, is lots of people around talking, it's going to definitely pick all that up um, and may require somebody to be you know, directly in front of the mic to really get a, a good sound out of it. Um, I did want to do a test here that uh, just shows how this thing um, records. So say you're like a, a podcast person or um, something like that and you just want to use your phone with like a little setup like this. So um, what I wanted to do was just set this up here and then I'm gonna record myself. So let's hit record. Okay, so now I have the camera set up right next to the camera I'm recording with. Uh, the cell phone's pointing at me and recording my voice right now. So I'm gonna turn this off so you guys can hear exactly what this thing sounds like. So now I'm recording with the uh, cell phone and the mic attached. I'm, re I'm recording also with my regular camera here, but the mic that is recording me is on the tele or is on the cell phone. So uh, it gives you a good idea that if you are sort of in you know a little office or a closet, if you're doing some vlogging or something like that, this is going to be the audio quality. Again, this uh, this is kind of far away as far as um, if you're doing uh, vlogging things like that. You're definitely going to have it closer, uh, maybe on a desk in front of you or sitting in a chair, whereas I'm standing here. But I am in an enclosed room with some sound dampening, so uh, this could give you a good idea of what this sounds like if you were to use uh, your cell phone and this thing, uh, this microphone, um, in sort of a closed environment uh, like what we're in right now.
Okay, so what are my thoughts on this microphone? I think that uh, for the price, you know, $15, it works pretty well. Depending on what you're trying to do with it, I think uh, that it, it will work uh, very well in different situations. If you're out in an environment, like outside an event where there's lots of people around, if you're inside an event where there's lots of people around and background noise, because this is an omnidirectional mic, it's definitely gonna pick up everything else that you're also hearing. So when you go back to uh, do video editing, that type of thing can be very difficult to edit out and to uh, try to actually hone in on someone's voice if that's what you were doing, if you were actually recording someone's voice. If you're just out taking videos and you want to try and get some better audio quality in general of the surrounding area or whatever it is you're recording, you know, like if you're at say like a waterfall and you want to really get the water effect uh, noise, then this would be a pretty good thing. Um, again, if you're at an event and you're trying to record somebody with there's a bunch of people around, I don't think it's going to be the best thing. I haven't tested in that situation yet, uh, I haven't had the opportunity yet, uh, but I think that this is definitely a good little backup mic to keep with you for $15. Uh, you really can't beat the price and you know if it does break it's not gonna you know kill you. Um, you can always just buy another one or find a different mic choice. So did Movo nail or fail this review? I think they nailed it on this one. They uh, have a really nice price of $15 on this thing. You can get it on Amazon, two day shipping. So if you need it quickly, you can always get it quickly. I have a link down below. So help support the channel by uh, buying through the affiliate link. And uh, I really think that this is something, uh, again, that if you need a backup mic, if you need some sort of lifestyle shots with uh, directional pickup, uh, for the audio, that this is something that could come in real handy for you, uh, especially if you don't want to carry around your DSLR, your mirrorless camera. Um, it has, you can just have this little setup here and uh, get some directional pickup. Again, if you're uh, out at an event and you're trying to record somebody with lots of other people around, I don't think it's going to do best there, uh, but it will probably help pick up the noise. I do wish that they would have included a windsock with this uh, because they are difficult to find on their own, especially little tiny ones for these size of mics. Uh, so I wish Movo, if you're listening, uh, you should include some windsocks with the uh, next generation. But otherwise, I think they nailed it on this one. Price is really good. The sound quality is pretty good, depending on what you, again, are trying to pick up as far as audio goes. So definitely try to pick one up. Again, help support the channel. Check out the affiliate link below and uh, pick one up if you think it's gonna work for you. So hope you guys like this video. Please like if you like, subscribe, and check out the other videos. Nailed or Failed Reviews.